A modest nature. We got we actually got a modest sunkern with solar power. I'm not even I'm not even mad about that. This is actually a, a, like as good as it can get for a sunkern. Well, hello everybody again and welcome back to the second part of my Pokemon Black 2 wedlock. Yeah, in the last episode we got here to Flockessy Town or Flockessy Town, whatever, and we met up with Alder and uh, now we're going to continue uh, uh, to the route up north, I believe, of Flockessy Town. And uh, also, we caught our first new team member, or our first... Uh, route encounter level uh, level 4 purloin on route 19 uh, we called it melonite and uh, it's gonna be an amazing uh, team member and now that I take a look at my Pokemon I'm gonna heal for a little bit and um, then we're gonna continue on because there's a few items to get or is it just one I believe yeah there's there's just one I believe there's a potion in one of these houses in Flockessy Town and then what we have to do we have to go straight through uh, onto the next route because we still we are still searching for Hugh to get him his Pokedex or his uh, town map uh, uh, excuse me that's the wrong item that's the town map we're talking about here so one of these guys is gonna give us a potion I believe yay there we go I didn't look that up because uh, I'm, I'm just amazing it's not I didn't look that up. Uh, I played through this game just a little bit to test before I did this. And uh, there's a potion there. <laughs> so I'm not going to bore you guys with the rest of these uh, houses because there's nothing in them or the other NPCs. Uh, I'm going to read this uh, though. It's an old clock tower and that's all she wrote. So uh, there is nothing actually back here. I don't know why. It's a waste of space and a waste of time. Uh, but here is... Uh, uh, just a little park or construction site whatever and then the old clock tower of course and that's all for Flakessi kind of um, other than uh, the school up here and I believe some more buildings we can't enter that's it for Flakessi so um, or Flakessi I don't even know how you pronounce that name it's it's always been kind of confusing to me but I don't care uh, there's an old man up here I'm gonna talk to him yeah Flakessi Flakessi Ranch that's where we're, that's where we're headed next so uh, on to route 20 it is yeah this is our next route and uh, this is not a trainer but she tells us about how uh, trainer battles work so let's actually put our melonite up to the front here and uh, battle the first trainer because this is actually uh, the first real route with the first trainers and uh, yeah this is the first one here youngster uh, orange cap shorts whatever um, and uh, we're gonna see if we can take him on with our newly acquired Melonite and uh, Sapphire, of course, our first uh, pair. Uh, he has a Patrat or Patrat. I kind of prefer Patrat, actually. Um, and it's also level 4, so we kind of have to watch out here. Um, let's go for a Scratch here and see how much that does. And then we can always switch back to uh, Sapphire if uh, Melonite gets low on health here. Yeah, that tackle does a lot of damage, so I, I think I'm going to switch out to Sapphire here. And if we need, we can always use a potion uh, to uh, heal him up. And uh, yeah, that's something I haven't really talked about in the first episode of this series. I don't really have a restriction on using healing items, because I feel like a wetlock is hard enough as it is, so... Um, yeah, some people uh, like to use uh, some restrictions in battles, like uh, only healing a couple of times or not heal at all in battles. Uh, but I feel like it's kind of uh, kind of a bit too difficult for this first wetlock I'm doing. Uh, yeah, for the record, I've done wetlocks before in my spare time, but I've never done a wetlock on camera. I've never recorded a wetlock on camera. Um, so this is going to be a first uh, for me on this YouTube channel, of course. And I'm so excited to uh, be able to share this with you. These um, these uh, modes you can add to your uh, to your Pokemon game. I love them all, like the Nuzlocke, Wetlock, whatever. Uh, I can't get enough of them. And uh, it's fun to do uh, like a Nuzlocke or a Wetlock every once in a while to just spice up your game and uh, challenge yourself a little bit. Because I I, I can't I can't actually remember when the last time was I. Um, I did... Oh, that's a crit scratch. Okay. Um, yeah, but we're fine. Melonite is fine here. We're just going to switch it to Sapphire here. 
and uh, do a little bit of that good old switch training here. Um, but yeah, I can't I can't recall the last time I did uh, just a regular uh, playthrough of a Pokemon game. Uh, it has been a long while. I think it was um, probably was Pokemon. Was it Pokemon X or Pokemon Alpha Ruby or Alpha Ruby? What? What? Omega Ruby. That's that's what. Okay, Alpha Ruby. Yeah, new game coming out this summer. And uh, no, it's Pokemon Omega Ruby. Was probably the last um, Pokemon game I've played without an uh, without an extended mode or anything like a Nuzlocke or whatever. And um, yeah, it, I have to say, uh, I have to say, it's it's kind of easy if you do it without the mode. Like you can just let things die, and it's it's. Like it's kind of boring to me, so that's why I play with these uh, like these added challenges. And we're gonna get it to uh, pick up our first paralyzed heal here uh, in this in the middle of this grass right here. And uh, yeah, before we go any further, I I think I'm gonna heal up uh, Purloin a little bit with a potion here, and then uh, we'll be fine. Uh, I believe we can actually catch our new um, encounter here, our first um, of the second pair. And it's going to be either a male or a female Pokemon. It doesn't really matter because we uh, we don't have uh, a new pair yet. Like it's, it's kind of difficult to explain. But um, if there is a pair already formed like right now. It doesn't really matter if you catch a female Pokemon or a, a male Pokemon as your third encounter. Or your, uh, your third Pokemon. Uh, because uh, it's going to form a new pair either way. So it doesn't matter if it's a, uh, a female or male Pokemon. Uh, you can always pair that up later with a uh, Pokemon of the other gender uh, and that's basically how that works So if you have a third Pokemon in your party that is either f uh, male or female uh, Then you're gonna have to worry about what the gender of the next Pokemon is going to be So uh, yeah, this tackle is gonna do well. It doesn't do a lot of damage actually uh, Let's go for another scratch because I think we can knock it out here Melonite putting in work with that, uh, yeah, she doesn't actually have an attack boosting nature. I thought for some reason she had an attack boosting nature, but that's not true. I am lying. Oh no. <laughs> she, no, she doesn't have an attack boosting nature. But she's still good though. Um, so let's move swiftly along here. This hiker is not going to let us pass, uh, pass, I believe. Because, uh, yeah, I need to get a gym badge. And, um... Yeah, I, I don't think I've shown that, but there is actually a gym in the first town that we started in, in the Spursia city. And uh, yeah, that's one of, uh, one of the firsts actually in this series, because there wasn't a, uh, a gym in, uh, in your hometown before this game, like ever. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a first. Um, but yeah, I want to catch uh, a new Pokemon here. But I think I want to heal up a little bit at the Pokemon Center and, and I want to be prepared for uh, that new Pokemon we're going to catch. So I'll do a little bit of cutting away and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back onto Route 20 and we're ready to catch our third Pokemon or our third team member. Uh, because we haven't actually caught Oshawott, but it's going to be our third team member. It's going to be a Sun... What? Why? Why is Sunker? Why? I don't want a Sunkern. Okay, whatever. Let's let's forget about it. Let's just scratch. Hope we don't knock it out because it's level 2. Um, but this might actually not be that bad. It's a Grass type. We need a Grass type. We need some more variety on our team. And a Grass type will always help. And a Growth is not that bad. So uh, we can make the best out of it. So let's just chuck a Pokeball at it. Uh, at least it's easy to catch. So I'm probably going to catch it in one go. Hopefully here. And um, yeah, it's a level 2 female sur uh, Surskit, no, Sunkern, what am I saying? Uh, yeah, Sunkern, and um, that's going to be the first half of our second pair. And uh, it's a seed Pokemon, of course, and uh, we are going to need a Sunstone to evolve that at some point. But that's far into the future, so let's, um, I'm going to grab my list and pick a nickname, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've decided on a nickname. It's gonna be let's let's put it in right here. It's gonna be Peridou or Peridou. No, that's probably pronounced Peridou, as in uh, French. Uh, it's uh, spelled like uh, Sue. Let's get that T in there. And uh, yeah, it's a green gemstone and a uh, little bit of olive color to it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go with Peridou, and that rhymes. So it's uh, gonna be amazing. And uh, let's check him out, or her actually. A modest nature. We got, we actually got a modest Sunkern with solar power. 
I'm not even I'm not even mad about that. This is actually a, a, like as good as it can get for a sun kern, um, and we actually got a good sun kern. Um, so I'm very happy about that. And now all the only thing we have to do is go up to the Flockacy Ranch right here, and we can also get a new encounter right here in the Flockacy Ranch because th this is a new area. If you check out your save uh, data, we we are now on the Flockacy Ranch. Uh, so yeah, that's a very useful tip if you want to make sure um, you are in a new area and um, you want to make sure you can catch a new Pokemon there uh, just check your save data and um, oh we have to actually battle Hugh right here yeah I kind of forgot about that but it doesn't matter so we're on Flockacy Ranch battling Hugh and after that we're gonna catch uh, a new Pokemon to pair up with um, to pair up with our a new Peridou our new Sunkern and uh, yeah, he is going to lead off with his Snivy, level 8. That's actually very scary. Uh, so I believe he gets a uh, Vine Whip uh, at that level. So let's uh, do actually, let's let's do a couple of Growls. Let's uh, strategize here a little bit. And then I'm going to speed up a little bit because it's kind of boring if you have to wait. And I'm going to growl a little bit more. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to switch to uh, Anshawad here if uh, things get dire. So uh, I think we can go for a scratch now here as he goes for another Leer, uh, lowering my defense one more. Now we're kind of back to square one here. So I, I'm probably going to switch to Ocelot here. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that did nothing uh, right there. So uh, now I can't, well, if I wanted to switch to Perido, for instance, here I can't because it's, uh, he, she is going to be part of a different pair. Uh, so I have to switch to my Sapphire now. That's kind of how this uh, this whole wet lock is gonna work. Uh, even though this knife is grass type, I have leered it or uh, growled it a little bit, uh, like two times. So um, yeah, I don't know what it's gonna do more. Like water gun is resisted, but I'm timid, so my special attack is higher. Let's see how much a water gun will do. I know it's resisted, um, but maybe it's gonna do more than I think. Uh, and if so, or if not so, we're gonna go for a, uh, yeah, we're gonna probably go for a tackle. That's probably gonna do a little bit more here. Uh, but it doesn't actually look like that he has Vine Whip, uh, or like a grass move yet. Um, even though he's level 8, that's kind of weird, but he should have Vine Whip by now. But we should have this in the pocket. Yeah, we got another crit again, a critical hit against his Snivy. That's like the second crit we got. Like the first one we got, that was actually the first move of the game, like the first attack I ever did on this series was a critical hit. Like there was a crit tackle against this very Snivy. So the Snivy goes down, we get a boatload of experience, uh, getting Sapphire up to level 8 and probably getting a Melonite up to level uh, 6. Yeah, there we go. Nice and powerful. Getting assist, that might actually be uh, be useful uh, to us in the beginning of this, uh, this playthrough. Because we can get like water gun from Oshawott and that uh, that can be useful against uh, like some rock types or anything or whatever. Um, so yeah, we gave him the town map and that's kind of our mission done here. But uh, a new mission is going to kind of arrive right here. Um, yeah, these farmers are looking for their um, uh, herdier. Yeah, that's it. That's another uh, Pokemon name I, uh, I was kind of forgetting about. But we're gonna get a potion again right here, uh, out of nowhere, kind of. And I believe she's gonna heal our Pokemon after that. Or we're gonna uh, be able to talk to her if we want to heal our Pokemon after that. Um, so, yeah, he, he's telling us about the Herdier. And uh, Hugh is all like, oh my god, no, you're kidding me. Uh, you lost it. And uh, that's very... Uh, that's very stupid of you, because how can you lose a Herdier? And uh, yeah, he's very stressed out about it. So I believe we can talk to the uh, to the wife now, and she's gonna rest our Pokemon for a minute. That's amazing. So now we're all healed up and ready to go. And uh, yeah, that battle with Hugh went amazingly. Actually, we uh, we got a couple of levels out of that, and now we have to pair up Parado with a uh, a fee or a female, no, a male Pokemon. Of course, the next Pokemon we're gonna catch right here is gonna be um, the partner of Parado. Uh, our female Sunkern. So let's go. Yeah, let's go for that item and we might encounter a new Pokemon. Yes, please be something good. It's a Lillipop. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna be a male Lillipop. It's a female Lillipop. So we can't catch this Lillipop right here. That's uh, actually a good example uh, for how this works. 
because if we check our Parado, it's of course a female Surskit, or there I go, there I go again with the Surskit, it's a Sunkern, not a Surskit, okay, um, yeah, it's a female Sun, a Sun, uh, Kern, yeah, there we go, and, um, and we need, of course, a male Pokemon to pair it up uh, with. And there's some little Maribs going around here. We got a, another item right there. And uh, this um, this trainer we're going to avoid for a little bit because I want to catch a uh, pair for uh, or something to pair up with Parado first. We got a Lillipup and it's another female Lillipup. Wow, where are all the male Lillipups at? Come on. Okay, I'm back. So, sorry for the short interruption right there. There was actually someone at my door, or at our door, and the doorbell rang, and I had to uh, to open the door. So, uh, yeah, that Lillipup, I just ran away because it was a female Lillipup. Of course, we can't catch that, and uh, we have to uh, search for something else here uh, to pair up with our newly acquired Sunkern. Uh, so let's just go, let's jump right into it. Let's get, let's get a, a male Marie, please. No, it's a female Marie. No, I wanted to get a Marie, actually. That's kind of unfortunate. So, um, let's just run away because this Marie is also useless to us. We need a male Pokemon. Like, where are all the male encounters at? Come on, give me, give me something. Give me a male something. Is that a male Lillipup? Come on, yeah, it's a male Lillipup. Level 6, male Lillipup. Come on, yeah, it's amazing. Okay. Uh, so what do we do here? Let's growl it because the Lillipup can actually pack quite a punch. So um, this is going to be, if we can catch it, if we can manage to catch it, uh, this is going to be the partner of Parado, uh, the partner in crime, the middle Lillipup of level 6. And I'm very stoked about it because I love Lillipup. It's, it's kind of powerful actually uh, when it evolves into a very powerful Stoutland. And um, of course her deer in between there somewhere. Uh, so let's uh, scratch one more time as he leers again. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting quite scared of this thing. So um, uh, do I want to switch into Oshawott right here? I mean, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to switch into Oshawott right here. And then I'm going to start chucking some Pokeballs at it. And uh, I'm going to try to catch it because I don't know if I can tackle it right here. I might just knock it out if I go for a tackle. And I don't want that because I want this Lillipup. Because it's amazing, as I just said. And uh, yeah, let's go for uh, let's go for that Pokeball. We have ten of those, so we should be able to catch this uh, sooner or later. Uh, so let's just see how we fare here. Uh, it's gonna shake once, uh, shake twice, sh and shake three times, and kaboom! There we go. We got the Lillipup. Nice, nice Lillipup. Okay, amazing. It's of course the puppy Pokemon. And now I'm gonna have to look up. A nickname for this thing because I am of course still working with uh, the uh, minerals and gemstone a uh, nicknaming theme so I'm gonna check out my list and I'll be right back okay I've spotted an amazing nickname on my list uh, it is going to be the nickname of our um, Lillipup of course and it's gonna be Howlite yeah, that's actually an awesome nickname and it's going to fit my uh, my little pup quite well because he's of course a dog and he's going to howl a lot. Um, so we're going to put in the I and a T and there we go, Howlite. It's a uh, kind of grayish white mineral and um, it's sometimes referred as white turqua turquoise, turqu well, whatever. It's Howlite and it sounds amazing and it fits a little pup very well. So we got the gentle nature, uh, that's not very interesting. We got the pickup ability, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that we sadly didn't get the intimidate, or does it get intimidate? I don't even know. But uh, we got the pickup ability, so he's going to be picking up random items for us uh, throughout our, our adventure. And um, yeah, I think I want to end it off here maybe, because yeah, we caught a new team member here. And we're all very excited, but um, I think I'm running out of time a little bit. So uh, I want to thank you very much for watching and um, oh well that's we are just rudely interrupted right here so I suppose we're gonna battle this trainer before I end it off um, yeah I don't I don't care uh, lost Molly uh, sure let's battle you uh, that's fine I didn't even plan to go anywhere sure um, so let's battle this purloin on purloin action uh, let's go for that scratch here and see what happens. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do a little bit more switch training, of course, uh, by going into Oshawott later on uh, with my uh, with my Melonite, because she is not really that uh, strong yet. 
So uh, let's see what this assist gets uh, from this Purloin. It's a tackle. It doesn't do all that much actually. So uh, we might be able to go for another scratch here. And just keep on keeping on here. Uh, because this Purloin is doing great. Uh, take another scratch. Yeah, I think I'm on a switch now. Uh, she, 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 she actually has two Pokemon here. Um, so I might do a little bit more uh, going back and forth between my pair. Yeah, in the beginning of a wetlock, it's always kind of difficult to uh, to train up your, uh, like your your uh, your uh, lower level Pokemon. Yeah, I was kind of debating on how to uh, to word that a little bit. Yeah, your lower level Pokemon or uh, the Pokemon who are not that good yet. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have to depend on your Ace for uh, quite a bit of time to um, actually train these Pokemon up here. So Sea Waddle is up next, or Swaddle, and um, yeah, we're gonna switch back into Melonite here, and um, let's see what move is gonna have. It might actually have a bug move, but I don't think so at level six. Like it had String Shot, but uh, but for uh, like to be sure, I'm gonna switch into uh, to into Sapphire just to be safe. And uh, let's see, he goes for a tackle, yeah. So I don't think he has like Bug Bite or anything yet. Uh, but I didn't really expect it at level 6. Uh, I know he gets uh, like Razor Leaf and Bug Bite really early on. And that's kind of amazing about Sea Waddle. Uh, but not at level 6. No. It's only String Shot and Tackle basically. Like any early uh, Bug type. So um, let's hope we can knock it out uh, quickly. And then we can end off the video. Um, yeah there's a kind of a bit to cut out. Also the, uh, the part where I had to open the door or answer the door and um, yeah that was actually uh, my my neighbor and uh, she uh, or our neighbor and uh, she asked yeah the there was a like the, the football or something went over the uh, went to in our in our backyard and I had to throw it over the over the fence and whatever so it was um, like a little bit of an inconvenience but we're, we're back on track here and I'm gonna end off this video right here without any more interruptions so uh, if you like this video please leave a like down below and leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't already that I would really appreciate that and stay tuned for more episode in this series because I'm very hyped I'm very excited and um, yeah we're gonna continue in the next episode see you next time bye bye